Is this where I left off? I hope it's where I left off. Hey, you know those two, that really long chamber I spent all of last episode on? Yeah, I had to do that again. The checkpoints in this game are actually pretty not great, as it turns out. That's unfortunate. I just snuck into Arthur's office and it's worse than I thought. Arthur is trying to sabotage light matter. It's not just poisonings. I found the schematics for his experiment on the core. He's not trying to improve it. He's trying to overload it. If he manages to do that, we are all going to die. I am not going to let Arthur ruin our future. I have to get to Virgil. Arthur is after me. Whoever finds this, if it's not too late, tell Virgil that Arthur needs to be stopped. We're all going to die down here. I don't think I can climb that. I don't think that's within my character's impressive abilities. Button? Is there a button anywhere? I think that is the... I think that was the exit I took. Yeah. I mean, the only button's way over there. Which isn't great news. I should probably take you off the platform then. So I can send the platform over. Ah! Uh oh. Oh! We're back in the previous room, not the one that took me a long time. They look really similar, but one of them only has two tracks. And one of them has the circular track that goes in the circle. In case you didn't know what the word circle meant. <laughs> Ta-da! I might need that to be on that platform. I don't know, it might just kill me. Eventually the other light comes by and kind of saves me, so maybe it'll save me in time or maybe I'll die. Am I gonna melt? I'm gonna melt. <gasps> okay, jumping worked. I don't know if it was necessary, but it worked. And so, I like to err on the side of it, believing that whatever I did in the situation is why I lived and why I'm a good, good boy who, who, who succeeded is because I was a genius, and not because I would have won anyway. Good for your self-esteem. What's that? It's like an old-timey calculator. <laughs> Probably not an old-timey calculator. Alright now, pay close attention. It seems that when it comes to you, nothing can ever be simple. That elevator was your quickest way out. But... I have an idea, and it involves making this partnership mutually beneficial. You are going to be my assistant. <laughs> Try to contain yourself. You will be moving deeper into the facility through our research and development department. Before I allow you in, I would like to make something abundantly clear. Be careful with what you touch, and no photographs. Are the walls supposed to be breathing? I'll tell you more about the plan as I work out the details. Do not make me regret this, and remember to do exactly as I say. You said touch nothing, right? Oops. Beat me up! Uh oh. Decontamination in progress. Exo Presley has the deck. Well, that's familiar. I want to touch it. <laughs> Damn Union Invisible. Really? Ah yes, the three titans of thought. Einstein, Tesla, Slenderman. How is it? I guess, I guess things have been shaking lately. Just distressing how all the cokes are like all disheveled, like it's not, that probably won't go anywhere we want it to go then. 
Yeah, I guess people so, melt in the dark. Assistant, this is where we develop our photon connectors. Everything you see here is confidential, expensive, and fragile. Don't treat it like you treat my elevators. I didn't even do anything. No, your ele you treated your elevators. This You built this place, you fucked it up, and your stuff's breaking. I haven't done anything. All I did was say, yes, I would like an elevator, please, and then it's like, no, you can't. Uh-uh, no elevators. One of those little perpetual motion looking things. Yep. Look at him go. Having a swell old time. A fan? Yeah. A fan that is spinning very slowly. Hmm. Lots of little things moving around in the dark. Someone was playing solitaire. That was the last thing they did before they died. Wow. What a way to go. It's fucking killing time until time kills you! Behold, a photon connector. Yeah, I've seen him. Were we not clear on the fact that I've seen them before? Also, I took a drink because I thought you were going to say more than one, three words. And then you, then you didn't. <laughs> I, was, I felt really betrayed. Ah, a beam of light so magnificent, it almost looks like matter being created before you. Is matter being created before me? Okay, rude. Oh, we're having a bastion moment where I was just trusting you to not kill me. And that trust was broken. Fascinating, isn't it? The connectors suspend uh, photon crystals over electromagnets. As long as they're in line of sight to what I call a mother source, they create a powerful beam of light matter. A beam so powerful that it produces a surplus of energy. Although the connectors are just prototypes for the core, they display the very essence of light matter. That's interesting. Links them up. It's a beam so powerful, and yet it doesn't kill me at least. That's one thing I've got going for me at the moment. Hi. Hi. Where's my goal? I think maybe I'm supposed to just get this and leave. Know this. Without the technology behind the connectors, photon crystals would be no better than diamonds. Boring and devoid of function. The crystals possess great power, but it's my technology that releases and tames that power. So I don't think there's anywhere to go in this room, and I think I also can't leave with this thing in this room? They put a bunch of barriers around, so I have to jump to get in and out. Where, where is my goal? I don't really know where I'm trying to go. It's the idea that I just have line of sight with this thing now, so now I, I don't have to worry about... Yeah... Because I originally provided light to this, but now I've put it in line of sight of the thing downstairs, which means that... Now... I should be able to walk around with this and maintain line of sight with that, but maybe... I don't know. I, might, I don't know how long it'll last. I mean, I can see that guy from here. I, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. We'll see how it goes. Ah, here's where I lose on a sight. Okay. So that's where I will have wanted to switch this around a little bit. I want line of sight with you. Gotcha. Yeah, I can see the bottom source of light until I get to that hallway. And now I need the side room one. I hope that this doesn't kill me. It does helpfully give you a little red beam for a bit as a warning when you're about to lose your connection. So you have a little bit of a warning that you're in trubs. Mad trubs, yo. Assistant, 
I think a lot about the future. In these labs, I've spent years testing the prototypes under various conditions, all to ensure the success of the core. You see, although the photon connectors have a 100.2% conversion efficiency, I've reached 107% with the core. I achieved critical mass. <laughs> and Arthur wanted to stop at the prototype. Madness. He was so certain that the laws of physics were unbreakable. That is where we differed. Where he saw laws, I saw suggestions. And now everyone's dead. And you're bragging about it. That fool thought we couldn't go any further. Never mind the many bodies. What am I going to do with you? That might be a workable line of sight. Yes. What do you do? You move that from the other room. Hmm. There we go. You don't serve much purpose on that side of the room as far as I can tell. I think the game just crashed. Can you not crash? God damn it. Time to find out where the checkpoint was. Last time it was a half an hour ago. All right. Assistant. Time I to solve this level again, but labs, more smoothly. While I was solving it last time, I got a better idea of how to do it faster. At least I get to show that. We are not done yet, as it turns out. We expose the photon connectors to wind, water, and hail. These tests ensure that the core, no matter the weather, will survive. You are no crystal, but you should be able to handle a couple of rounds through it. Wind, water, and hail. That's what those weird particles are? It looks really odd. Huh. <laughs> Weird. It's so brief, though. Usually exposure to the elements is more of a long-term thing. That's what part of the wear and tear there. The wear and the tear there. Excellent. It's like a really continuous line of sight. And been baptized in the waters of light matter. I can almost imagine the ah! journalist fading away. I got fucked over again by the fact that they mapped jump to, to shift for some reason. I reflexively tried to shift on my way to the jump to sprint. There we go. The checkpoint. Thankfully, it responded me right there. Hello, weird crystal. Just let, sitting out in the open. That's probably safe. Yeah. Cupcakes. Monochrome cupcakes. Technologies has built towards every 
every power cell, every connector, all of them combine to create this. By using photon power cells to collect the energy from a large-scale beam of light matter, I built a perpetual motion machine. Facts are facts. The energy is clean, infinite, and is about to usher in the next scientific revolution. Others will stand on my shoulders and see further than they have ever before. That will be my legacy. We will fix the side effects. We will fix the side effects. Will you? So far, you're really good at getting people killed. Let us ignore the quakes for now. <laughs> at the center of a city, a core providing sustainable and renewable energy to millions. That is the future we are striving for. Yeah. It is a mechanics set that just leads to a lot of instant death, so you've got to just hope the checkpoints are being really nice to you. Which in that one circular platform area, the place where the four platforms went in a ring, went in a loop to with each other, that was when the checkpoints for my deaths were being kind of mean, honestly. Fucking away. Fuck a fuck fuck. You move really quickly. You can very ab abruptly ruin things. I wonder if it rewinds by like a set amount of time or something. So I think they want me to move that over there and then go backwards. Because now if I take this with me, it should connect across the hallway, allowing me to go forward. probably have your own ideas about the applications of light matter, but there's no need to write them down. We have given a small-scale prototype to a test town of 500 inhabitants. For the first time, these townspeople have access to a steady energy source. They are now thriving. They all have cancer. Check out our hot new source of energy. Can't wait to see how it revolutionizes the world and shit. Probably gonna be pretty kick-ass. One minute later. Everyone has cancer. The death toll was in the millions. We should have tested this for decades on chimps or something before we like... Just had an entire major population center live around it. Just... We just wanted to be the giant that people stand on. <laughs> I wanted to be great. So I didn't. I thought that I, I would just win because I have protagonist syndrome. I have the plan. To get you out, we are shutting down the core. I've when been to this staircase there, before. You can't trick me. Down there was blocked. And since I'm limited by my body, but not my mind, I wasn't able to get around the obstacles. As you have the opposite problem, You'll play a part in this. The core is very delicate. So I'll be up here in my control room managing the shutdown. As my assistant, you'll be the one pulling the lever. Hmm. When I told James of this plan, <laughs> he seemed jealous. I've become his assistant by his terms. He's trying to foster camaraderie. Bleh. He's realizing he may not be able to beat me, so he's trying to, like, encourage a sense of allyship between us. You might be wondering why there are photon connectors inside an office space. Well, morale was low because of the rampant hair loss, so I implemented a photon fun hour. During their breaks, employees were allowed to play with the connectors. Productivity rose by 12%. The Photon Fun Hour. Where am I trying to go? How will I do it? Demoralized by the rampant hair loss. What a sentence to say, huh? I don't know, I'm 
I'm trying to figure out the angle where this will help in some way. There's a solid wall in my way right there. But that's not good. So, James just called me. He's worried that since you've been weightlifting pens all your life, you have too frail a constitution to pull a lever. Let's uh, see if he's right. Sometimes I have too frail of a constitution to make a small jump because I forget how or something. Maybe I can take this through the maze now? If I place the other ones correctly? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gotta be very careful and keep an eye on those reds. Or my name isn't McCarthy. <laughs> Alright. Did I make it? Did I win? Assistant, you need to know what will happen after the temporary shutdown. Once the core is off, the quakes and shadow anomalies will subside, allowing you to walk your fragile little head out of here. But more importantly, observing the shutdown will provide me the information I need to fix the side effects permanently. The core will repower and it will shine eternally. That a weirdo. You're gonna make one observation of a shutdown, and that's gonna be enough, just like that, for you to completely cure everything. Wow, I believe you so good, so well. I can't get in there from here. Maybe if I put it down. <gasps> Aperture Science has an artificial wow. intelligence prototype. They tested it by having it create the perfect cake recipe. It succeeded, but the first iterations of that recipe used neurotoxin as the primary ingredient. As a human being, I'm worried. They went straight for Aperture Science. I was like, are they gonna do it? All right, yep. Straight up talking about Gladys and Cake. Here's your obligatory game inspired by Portal gives reference to Portal. I think it's fair to say games like this are inspired by Portal. There wasn't really a glut of first person physics based uh, puzzle games. And suddenly there was. So if you, so if you have a first person uh, puzzle game with a lot of like a strong personality narrator throughout the entire experience. Like, we can't really be coy, we can't really be coy about it. Like, there's no reason to pretend it's not inspired directly by Portal. Your Talos principles and your... your I almost said our back of drop, which is not the right thing to say. Uh, your, your Talos principles and your uh, other game... <laughs> ...makes me nostalgic. Before Quantum I conundrum. discovered this mountain, Arthur had a mineral collection. I still need to cover that game. He called me over one day to show off a particularly rare example he had found. A photon crystal. I could see the potential immediately. <laughs> and Arthur thought it was just a rare crystal. <laughs> I thought he was Trying till you run out of cake and some science gets done and you make a neat gun for the people who are still alive. Alright, they're being... <laughs> they're not even being a little coy. Alright. All groundbreaking technology has its kinks. People get really defensive about the idea that games are inspired by their games and so on. Sometimes. Especially when, whenever you mention Dark Souls and stuff. So there's still be some, some guy will, will hear that direct reference to Portal and also the song being in the game and they'll still be like, burp, 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 How dare you say? Burp, 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 burp. I've had this- I've had the same conversation. Every time I say anything has any inspiration from any other game ever, there's always somebody that's like, has a recoil defensive thing about that where they have to defend the game. It's like, it's not- no, that's how art works. It's fucking normal. You're being- you're being weird. <laughs> that's not good. 
That's just not good. It's specifically not good. What do I do here, though? Oh, I got it. Impressive. With that agility and complete disregard for your own safety, one could easily mistake you for a cat. I like cats. I like cats? Alright. Do cats like you, though? Ooh, hi. We, we have light? Suddenly there is some light? Shit. Maybe I should put you... No, that's the source. So that's not gonna help. But there was nothing on this side? Window and darkness. And I can't take him over here. Eh, that's lit up on top. I can't go through here. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. I mean, I can't get across that. and closes while you're in there. That's really important to know about the situation and I didn't know Look that. The plants around you, assistant. Yes, they're leaves. We planted them yesterday. You see, light matter accelerates photosynthesis and makes them grow at an incredible rate. Imagine applying this technology to cultivation throughout the world. Famine, mass deforestation, floods, all of these relegated to history. Light matter will not only brighten the world, it will give life. I don't believe you. Because you could definitely just lie about that. <sighs> so I can't jump over there. Ooh, I can go in here. It's hard to tell whether the window's currently active or not sometimes. Active. Closed, I mean. Ta-da! Oh. I planned that pretty well. Now you go in here, too. There we go. Then I go around. If this was me in real life, I would double and triple and quadruple check every single action I was about to take because it would lead to my instant death. Or I would just abruptly die at the beginning before having a chance to even learn to be cautious about the situation, which is probably how most of the people died. Getting completely blindsided by the ridiculous lethality of the situation with no real chance to adapt. That's fun. That should line up with you. Nope. 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 I guess now that I've done this, I can go loop around to this side. Nope. That's not much better. That's not a great. You know, assisting me with the call will be the single most important thing you will ever do in your life. Around the world, hundreds of millions of people aren't connected to the power grid. We think ourselves so enlightened, but we are surrounded by a sea of darkness. To bring light, sacrifices must be made by all of us. 
Okay, see that's that sounds a lot like a like a the y You will be baked and then there will be cake. So he's ma he's a massive egotist, but he also has convinced himself that it's all for the greater good. So there's like two different layers under which he's Assistant, definitely going to sacrifice my life. Now you must understand the significance of light matter. So it's about time you learn how Arthur almost destroyed it. Three months and a lot of hair ago, Arthur went to the board of directors behind my back. He proved to them that light matter was causing minor side effects. It was humiliating, but I solved the problem by installing the decontaminators. That is when Arthur started poisoning people. Later, that vermin of a man had the nerve to use that as further proof to the board. While we were investigating the matter, one of my employees discovered his plan to overload the core and destroy the entire facility. Luckily, James and I stopped him before it was too late. Arthur paid for what he did, but nothing can redeem betrayal. What a pretty room. But now he's, uh, between his ego and the greater good argument, this seems like it, it seems like he's probably not even helping me escape anymore. He's probably getting me to go to a place where I'll solve the problem in a way that'll probably be lethal to me so that I don't get to write anything about what happened. And so the word can't get out about anything that I've seen in here. But he and so he wins on every level.